Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be making a full beat around an acapella. So the artist goes by Ness Heads. She's a really talented singer from Chicago, but now based in LA, and I'm fucking with her music. I've heard her sing over trap, some afro, some R&B, just some different vibes, so she's quite versatile. The track she sent me was originally over an afro beat, but she wanted some drill influence, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to combine the two. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so here's the acapella I've got. Just really sick vocals and nice effects. So yeah, the BPM's around about 106, but she wanted some drill in there. And obviously drill's around about 140, so if I tried to just make a drill beat, I'd have to stretch the vocals and it would just sound way too weird. So that's why I'm trying to combine the two. So I think for now, I just want to get the right bounce and then build a melody around it. So I think to start with, I could pull out some sounds to like. Something that sounds like a shaker. This would work. Then I'm thinking a rim. Yeah, like this one. And then some perks from here. Something like this. This one. And then I think a bongo like this. So to see if I can get a bit of a drill bounce, I'm gonna start with that counter snare pattern. And then for the rim, I'll do somewhat of a drill pattern. So I'll delay the second one. And then for the kick, I definitely want some kind of afro bounce. And then for the rest of the perks, it's going to be about filling in those gaps and getting the right bounce. So like this. Or like from here. Alright, maybe I could do something like this. Just so there's a little bit of variation. Yeah, now we've got a bounce going. Okay, and I'm thinking a snare too, like this. And then just to make that shaker sound a bit more interesting, we can just add some filler notes. Alright, I think that's going to be enough drums for now. Just wanted to get the bounce going, so I'm just going to start building a melody around it. Then if I need to add more drums, I will do. So I've just inverted the F sharp here and just left it kind of natural. Got the F sharp at the top too. So they're the main two chords. Ooh, this pad sounds hard. I wanted to make it more vibey, so instead of using keys, I use a couple layers like this. Okay, then I think. This will just be a nice higher layer of pipe. But maybe we could add a filler or something. Like this one here. Just to give it more movement. Okay, next I've taken the same chords, just copied them again. But now I'm gonna up these. So I'm just gonna press Alt and A. And we'll try a few different ones. So yeah, I like the vibe of this one. It's like a mallet in Analog Lab. With the acapella though. Yeah, I think that adds a nice vibe. I'll keep that in. Okay, before I add anything else, melodic, I'm gonna get some low end in there. So I'm gonna add in the 808. I think for this one, it has to be the fat and wide. Okay, so here we can add some slides. So yeah, just keeping this section kind of simple, then we'll add some slides at the end. Yeah, that's 
sounds kind of hard. I'm gonna get a reverse one in here as well. All right, and I've just found these vocals in Arcade that I want to add. I don't want anything to clash with her vocals though, so they're quite spacious. And I can filter them out a bit. And it's just going to go here. It's going to give it some impact, but I'm going to filter those out just to clean it up. Okay, and just because I wanted some high end, I took the melody, rendered it, reversed it, and then just changed the order so the progression is the same. And that just gave me this. It's also pitched up an octave. Okay, so I think this bit sounds cool, but when it gets to this section, I want some kind of switch up here. So maybe a change with the drums. And then I can bring this pad in as well. Just so there's some atmosphere. So I'll just have a few kicks here, then in this section, some shakers can come in. Alright, I'm just adding this percussion loop in as well. And then where the vocals pick up here, that's where I can cut everything. So like here. And then with this riser here, I'm going to make it cut there. And then I think I want everything to drop here. All right, so I'm going to bring the melodic stuff back. So in this part, I need a lot more energy. So I'm going to add a few more counter snares or shakers. All right, so where this little gap is here, I just want to add some drum fill. Hard. Okay, and I think for this part, because there's more energy, I want to add more eight weights. So like here. All right, that could work. And then just in this one section here, I'll add a couple more. I'm just going to get three and then repeat them. So we'll pan these as well. Alright, so I think that's enough for now. It's definitely enough to give her a general idea. So yeah, I want to see what she thinks and if she likes it, I'll finish it off. So I'm going to send it to her now and see what she thinks. Alright, so Jay remixed my song, Don't Leave Me Alone. And me and Jay have been in talks for months now and we haven't actually collabed on anything yet. Like, he sent me beats that are just crazy. And I've sent him some vocals. He took my acapella and remixed it. So this is going to be my first time listening to it. I'm super, super geeked. He's an amazing producer, so I am about to hit play and see what he did. Ooh, already switched it up. I love that little sound he used. Oh, that's dirty, dirty, sir. when he said he remixed it and like made it a little bit more afro beat drill type shit and honestly 
with how the real version sounds to what you did right there, 10 out of 10, like, you gave me a minute 26, I need the full version, that shit goes hard. Honored to have you even re remix, touch my vocals on that. Please give us more. <laughs>